I'm dumbfounded. What up, Wagwan? It's just saying good morning. It is your girl, Mena, and obviously you're here to see my wear, test, and first impressions of the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Long Wear Foundation. That is a mouthful. I'm headed out of town today, and I knew I wanted to get this video in for you because it's a new foundation, and I cannot wait a week to come and now discuss it. It's too much. So if you are interested, keep on watching. In the meantime, if you're in the US, text me. Join my text community. It's free. Also follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I am there and a lot goes down over there. IG is my main squeeze. Yes, I've come over to YouTube, y'all my main squeeze. It's just all a big squeeze, you understand what I'm saying? Like I said, it's early and me is actually sleeping in my room here, so I don't wanna be too loud. So the new Makeup Forever foundation is $43. It's a liquid formula, natural finish, waterproof, long wearing, medium coverage, best for oily combo or normal skin. So so they're saying that it's best for everyone. It's supposed to give a true to skin finish, undetectable liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfections for up to 24 hours. I'm gonna go for 16 hours today. Let's see, at least 12 hours. And we're gonna be on the airplane and I'm having a mask, the whole thing. So you wanna see how this foundation works under those conditions. This is a video for you. All right, so as you can see here, I looked at all the different shade descriptions and I settled on four and seven four espresso because it's for deeper skin tones with neutral undertones. You know, I like neutral. I've, I've made the mistake of getting warm and this is too much. So I like neutral. And when this came in, I was like, yeah, this will definitely work for me. So let's let's just put it on right now. I'm going to show you the whole face because I just know. I just know somebody's going to be like, what did you do this with? Let me just go ahead and show you, girl. So you don't have to ask me. I'm going to take care of you right away. Okay. This is the e.l.f. Lock on Lip Primer. I hate that it's discontinued. I love it. So I have to use it. I'm sorry. Okay. MAC Prep and Prime Lip is a great primer to use. So give that a shot. Now, I've just recently done my skincare. It hasn't settled into my skin too much. Normally, there's a big space between when I do my skincare and my makeup, but these days, since I get ready in the bathroom, it's like bam, 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 back to back. So my skin is very hydrated, and I say that because I was going to use a hydrating primer, this one from Giorgio Armani, but my skin's already hydrated, so I don't want to put this on right now. I'm not going to put on a matte primer either because I just don't want to be matte right now. I'm going to be hydrated. I'm going to cold weather, Airplanes are dry. I want to stay hydrated, okay? Here's the foundation. Honestly, this bottle is so beautiful. I love that it's all nude. I love the cap. I love that it, they didn't go with a black cap. This is just so sexy to me. And like I said, my color is right there. I just love this. I think it's adorable. That's cute right there at the top too. Now this, okay, it does have a pump. This bottle is so sexy. It is reminding me of the Studio Fix bottle from MAC. Comment, let me know if you know what I'm talking about. This literally looks like Studio Fix. Wowzers. Now I'm gonna pump some on my hand. Yeah, it's looking pretty neutral. Look at it. It's looking pretty neutral, which honestly makes me so happy. Let's see. Oh yes, this is definitely my shade. Can you tell? Oh, yo, buying foundation online can be so difficult. This is for me. <gasps> wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, should I take this with me? This matches, oh, this matches me perfectly. I have NARS Soft Matte Complete in my suitcase, and now I want to take this with me. Yo, I'm going to throw this in my carry-on. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is the perfect match. This looks so good. I cannot get over this. Okay, wowzers. You can't even see it on my forehead. It just looks like I'm putting on moisturizer. This is crazy. Have you tried this? You gotta let me know. Or do you plan on it? My goodness. Clearly, clearly. I love this already. Really? I mean, at this point, it's just more so how does it look throughout the day, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. I mean, I haven't come across many foundations that look like trash, except the Marc Jacobs one I bought years, was years ago. Oh my God, it oxidized on me. It was horrific. Other than that, oh my gosh. Wow, this is fan. Fantastic. I cannot get over it. I'm dumbfounded. Should I try a new cuisine right now? I'm so annoyed. I'm just getting ready right now. 
Yeah. I am itching to just use the KVD one because I did like it. It decreased. I want to give it another shot. Okay, lightweight increase. Just watch the video. Don't take the crease again and say, oh, it's trash. Just watch the video. Okay, this is the color tan 177. KVD, vegan beauty. Okay, I'm laying in the concealer. If you watched my other video, then you know that the shade of the KBD Vegan Beauty Found Concealer, whatever, okay, it's early. That shade is not light enough. It was fine with the makeup look, but I like to go lighter. So I am going to layer with this Boing Caicos Concealer in the color Pep Talk. Yeah, 9.25. I'm only gonna put that here. I'm not gonna put it the rest of my face. I just want the under eye to be lighter. Let's blend this out. Links are below for all these products, including this makeup sponge. That looks so good. All right, here's another new product that I'm trying today. <laughs> this is the Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick. Okay, this is cool. It has a nice magnetic cap sexy luxury makeup and this is the color ganache so i want to contour with this obviously and i want to see if this is dark enough i hope it is <sighs> it's not i can barely even see that oh this is too bad i wanted to use this let me go and get something else all right i want to go old faithful kvd vegan see how much darker that is kvd vegan beauty good apple bomb this is a number 98 yes this is what I call a contour. Okay, so just applying it and now we blend. This is the number seven day Sephora brush. Now you're gonna ask. Wiping off the excess product on my paper towel or tissue, I call, I call everything a tissue, okay? And now I'm blending. No need to apply anymore. Right now I just wanna blend. I'm gonna clean that up so don't worry. Get into your hairline, wash it off at night when you wash your face. I did take a lot of product this time. <laughs> Oh, hi, hello, what in the whole world? Okay, wiping off the excess some more and blending now, blend it into the hairline, just pouncing it really. I'm gonna clean up the cheek because I was truly overzealous. I was applying that. So my contour was like in a mess, okay? I was really overzealous. Just fixed it and then added some concealer to blend right here so that it looks normal. I forgot how dark this is. This is really, really dark. Okay, I'm taking the Sephora 57 brush at an angle, a little bit of product and actually tapping some off because this is darker than I, I remember. And we're gonna contour the nose very lightly. very lightly at first because this product is so dark. At an angle. I'm back and forth between setting my under eye with my sponge. So today I'm gonna to sit with the sponge because I'm feeling very daring. It's creasing already. Could be because I layered it, but I remember that the concealer did this, the KBD one did this anyway without the layer, but we're gonna set it. it. It just is what it is. Smooth out the concealer before you apply your setting powder. Pinch your sponge and smooth it out. And then pick up your product. Uh, keep your face like this so there's no creasing. Now I'm starting right in the inner eye first, you know, and then I'll do the rest of the under eye. By the way, this is a Fenty Beauty setting powder in the color Honey. I'm concerned about this sponge sponge issue right now because you're gonna apply a lot more product with the sponge when it's a powder than if I were to use a brush, but here we are, we're here already. <laughs> it's hit or miss for me, I honestly. That's why I normally don't do it because it's so hit or miss for me. Some days I do it and I'm like, oh, that looks so great. And it's like, oh, Jesus. Like, this is okay. It looks okay. But it's borderline problematic, at least for me. You might think it looks fantastic. I don't know. Setting my contour with the LYS Worthy Powder. 
and I don't need, when I say setting, I say that loosely. It doesn't need to be set, but I like to add a powder to it. And then usually the powder deepens the contour if the product that I used isn't dark enough, but this one was pretty dark, okay? So I guess I didn't need it. I'm just going off of auto mode. It's gonna look good though, watch. And here's the icing on the cake, one size powder foundation, just any powder foundation, but I like this one. This is what I have here in the bathroom going over everything very lightly. And when I say everything, I honestly just mean the concealer. <laughs> I'm going over everywhere that's not contour because I want the contour to still pop, you know? Oh yes, hun. And this is the Rare Beauty Luminizer. Back of the hand, you know the drill. Back of the makeup sponge, pounce, pounce, pounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And you might be thinking, all this and you're gonna wear a mask, yes, it's all or nothing. I don't do things half <laughs> Like, either we're gonna do it or we're gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Because when the makeup comes off, the face gonna be facing. The face still gonna be sitting and I'm still gonna wear my face when I get to my destination. So, yeah, elf blush. See you. Oh, and this is the Sigma Powder Sculpt F44 brush. So soft, it feels so good. All right, so for the eyes, I'm using the Morphe 3502 palette. I think it's discontinued, it's one of my favorites. It's what I have here in the bathroom. It's full of browns, different warm tone colors. Now, when I do my basic look, which you can call this soft glam, I don't use eyeshadow primer because to me, it's my throwaway look in the sense where I'm just like, I'm just doing it. It's just like whatever, <laughs> but I know for you, you might be like, excuse me, this look is amazing. But that's just how I see it because it's not a serious eyeshadow look. So because of that, I don't use a primer, but I always use a primer. You should use primer, okay? <laughs> I'm just mixing a bunch of browns, okay? This brush, by the way, is phenomenal. I love it. It's Sigma E61. Ugh, so fluffy and just soft and just amazing. So good. These colors don't have names. So I'm literally just mixing a warm, orangey, ready brown, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And then I'm mixing with a darker brown to put into the crease. And then now I'm taking this olive looking brown to make a brown smoky eye. Just one brush right here. This is why I call it my quick look. It's just quick. I'm just using one brush to do it. All right, while my glue gets tacky on my lashes, I'm gonna do my favorite nude everyday lip, Lip Bar Savage with Maybelline Chai. This would be so cute with the gloss, but because we're gonna wear a mask, no gloss right now, baby. And this is gonna last. These Maybelline liquid lips, oh, they last. Okay. Now for setting spray, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Night No Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I got my fan. All right, here's a finished makeup look. I'm gonna head to the airport and then we'll do check-ins throughout the day. So let's go. Okay, foundation check-in right now. It is nine o'clock and I'm in the airport. You see some mask marks. I mean, that's inevitable, but otherwise it's looking good to me. Okay, Ooh, here's the mask makeup. Ha! Huh. Fixing my face because it's been so stiff in the mask. It is now 2.30, it's 2.30 Eastern, so 1.30 Central, my time when I left home. What do you think about the makeup? I mean, it's still intact. I can't see it very well because I'm in the car, but I am gonna blot my face and I'll show you in daylight how it's looking along with the concealer. Okay, so it's six o'clock and here's my check-in. All the creasing's gone. The makeup still looks really, really good.
All right, it's eight o'clock now. Like I said, the face molded back very well. It's looking natural. I blotted my face one time, it got dewy again, but this is a natural finish. I think it looks fantastic. The match is phenomenal. I actually packed it to wear this whole week because this looks so stinking good. I love the finish. I think my face looks beautiful. If I blot, it looks fresh. It looks like I can just go out like right now. And I did this face at six in the morning, so. First of all, it's testament to me and my skills. It's testament to my skin. And it's testament to this foundation just being so good. So if you wear a mask, don't be so jarred by the indentation that happens. It'll loosen up and it'll go away. And what matters is how the makeup looks afterward. And the makeup looks really good. So I want you to comment, comment below and let me know what you think about this look and the wear test. Did you enjoy seeing how it looked throughout the day? If you like the foundation, are you planning on getting it? let me know. I'm going to link two videos for you to watch before you leave for good, but make sure you follow on Instagram and subscribe here and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and in case you were wondering, here are the braids. <laughs> okay, bye.